Alright guys, I'm going to make this tutorial as quick as possible, uh, but I'm going to try to cover everything that I can so that it's a little easier for people to understand. Now I'm not going to be able to cover every possible outcome or error, uh, but I will cover what's important. So first off, we're in Bridge. And when you install this program, you want to make sure that Unreal Engine is not open. Uh, it will cause errors if it is. It's happened to me more times than not, so it's just safe not to have that open uh, when you download Bridge. And when you install Bridge, uh, run it as administrator. Once you get in here um, and you've signed in with your account and everything, uh, you're probably going to be greeted with, you know, something like this or latest, right? So this is probably the one that's going to pop up first. So let's say that we're going to download a material, and this is what you're going to see. So you want to go over to download settings, and this is the first mistake people make. Um, they don't make sure that this is clicked on Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so you want to make sure that is the first thing you do. Number two, make sure you have the texture resolution set to what you're aiming for. And I would say the same thing in uh, Quixel Mixer. Okay, so let's say we're looking at a lo local library of materials, whether ones you've made or you've downloaded. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, so let's say that you've done that. And let me get rid of these layers because sometimes this causes problems here. That's one thing I think they should do is you should double click instead of just clicking on it once before it adds it to the layers. Um, but again, this is a beta program. And under export, obviously set your folder to what your exports are going to be into. This is just for your library uh, purposes. So then over here, you want to make sure that you pick whatever export format you're going to use. Um, sometimes it's better to pick TGA because it has more information in it. Uh, this is a smaller file size, but again, when you're bringing it to one program to another, or let's say that it's working with the textures from one format to another, you may lose detail and data. So I'd probably pick this here, leave all this alone. I add resolution to file names. And then if you want to export it so that it's in your local library, uh, two things are going to happen. One, if you're just downloading one from online and you haven't made any customizations to it, it's going to, um, Usually this isn't bridge, actually. I should clarify that. Let's say we're in bridge right now, um, and we don't have to worry about this. When you download it, what's going to happen is it's going to go in this folder. When you export from Mixer, it's going to go into this folder. So I guess it doesn't really matter if you make your own or you download it and then export it. Those are going to be in your Mixer folder. Uh, so if you don't want to have like doubles in these two, I would advise that if you're not going to do any edits to the material itself, just download it through bridge. And if you're going to make customized materials you know obviously only export from this if it's your custom material so again you go over here then go to export to library this will finalize and say that it's done once that's done it'll be in this library here so again it's going to have um the texture resolution and then you can pick um same thing as you did before that's what i'd advise and then you would click export. And this is after everything has already been set up uh, properly. But again, if you've just downloaded something, it's probably gonna have a little bit of a different setting. But also, again, you wanna make sure this is all set up. If this isn't set up, you're gonna run into errors where this is either grayed out or if it's not grayed out, it's having errors exporting, even when Unreal Engine 4 is open. So when you're running into that problem, chances are this is not working right. Sometimes even if it's showing, it's not working right. So it's a matter of resetting everything, uninstalling stuff, and then trying again. I had this error like about nine times before I figured it out. And it's really just sometimes there's problems that occur uh, when installing the plugin to the way that you install Bridge. So again, for me to cover every possible uh, situation that would uh, cause an error would take forever. So make sure that this is showing first. If this isn't here, close Unreal Engine 4, and if you installed the plugin properly through Bridge and it did all its work, that should pop up next. And uh, what would probably happen is that you would see something saying new plugins. So you want to make sure that that's enabled. Now, if you have it installed, uh, but if for some reason that didn't pop up, you can search Megascans and just click on Enable. And that should be it. And all that should be able to import with no problem. Now what's going to happen by default when you export from Bridge is it's going to install into Megascans. It's going to go under Surfaces, and then it's going to have a different folder for each one of your materials. 
So as you can see here, and it will map out all the textures that are used to make this uh, material. So I'm using the newest Unreal Engine 4. I'm not sure why when you open materials, they decide to make it so you see behind it. Hopefully they fix it. But down here, you'll see different settings. So if you want to tile it, the UV controls, the lower you go, the bigger it's going to be. And the higher you go, uh, the more tiled it's going to be. So just remember that. Uh, as for everything else, I mean, you can mess with the settings and all that. But if people are wondering, well, how do I make my material look like it has tessellation, look like actual 3D? Um, I'm going to see if I can make another material uh, tutorial so that I can better explain how you'd set that up. The problem is what I've noticed with these already being set up by Megascans is that, for instance, let me show you right down here, as you can see, this looks a little different than the actual finalized material. This is just going to be the parent material. But this is how they set it up. Okay. Now, for all you uh, material experts out there, I'm sure you'll be able to figure this out very quickly uh, and figure out a way to make it actually tessellate. So what would happen if you set it up right in the viewport, what you're going to start seeing is that in the little dips here, it's going to show you on the side of the sphere. So that means that it's actually using something called world displacement. And I'm guessing that that's probably using the height map. So if for some reason you can't figure this out, I'd just search on YouTube. There should be some tutorials out there. And they may even have some about Megascans, how to automatically set up tessellation so that you won't have to worry about that. Um, but this is just the parent material so you can see what's going on. Now, I remember a little while ago that they did have an option while exporting this. Um, let's see, maybe it's here. No. There was an option at one point, I believe, where you were able to just click on it and it would uh, enable tessellation. But then again, maybe they took that away. Uh, but there are material tutorials out there that will help you understand what you have to do and how to set it up so that when you put this on a surface, um, Unreal Engine 4 will tessellate the material. And from what I learned is that you kind of would be better off bringing in your own... Uh, surfaces your 3d models and make sure that it has enough polygons to work with uh, tessellation because it's going to try to form um it's going to try to subdivide that model as much as it can uh to match the detail of the height map uh, it'd be sort of like if you used a height map in 3ds max or maya and you're able to create a 3d um version of that okay so it's essentially doing the same thing but in real time so the more you do that the more memory is going to be used up uh, to help keep that appearance in game or within whatever render you're going to be pulling off in unreal engine 4 so just keep that in mind um, but that's basically it so if you want to mess with tiling um, and a few other settings that would be this and then you can you know like i said if for any reason you import this and i know some people run into the problem where they have like a sidewalk texture it's like brown and there's only two of these next to it it means that you didn't set something up properly even though you're able to import it into unreal engine 4 somewhere along the line whether it was in mixer or in bridge you didn't set up a, a setting so that it understood that you're going to be exporting into unreal engine 4 at the final phase of what you're doing. So just make sure that in download settings, Unreal Engine 4, export settings, um, this is all set up properly. And that's going to be a format that you know Unreal Engine 4 is going to be able to understand. And again, over here, if we're going to go to uh, local library, not sure why it's doing that. Again, beta state. You know, just have a look at what you're uh, working with here. And um, let's see if we go online, same thing. So download settings, make sure that this is selected to Unreal Engine 4. It's just, that's all it really is. If you don't have this set up properly, that's where you're going to run into that problem where you have the sidewalk texture and like two other textures or three next to them and it doesn't look right. It doesn't look anything like what you made. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, so if you have any problems with how this is being installed uh, just take a look at the links that i put in the description they should help you totally fine um, and again if that doesn't work try this and it will just clear the support folder and restart worst comes to worst and you, you need to send a log to quixel uh, i would put in a support ticket and this is what you're going to have to get to send to them but make sure that um, when you do this uh, you don't 
you know, you're going to see the log and what's going to happen is it's going to have errors of every single time you opened it and closed it. So you may want to have to delete this, right? And then open it up. And if you run into the same problem and you try to export and it says error, that just means that that one event while you had the program open will be in the log. So then you want to send it to them like that. So you want to make sure you're not sending them a huge log because they're going to have to look all the way down there um, just to help you out. So if it gets the problem fixed quicker, but that's where you would look. So anyway, hopefully this was uh, informative. Uh, sorry if I ran a little bit. I just want to cover everything that uh, anybody may ask. And if there's anything else I haven't covered, feel free to put it in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, guys. Have a great day.